Welcome back to the Magic Academy. Today we have a special unboxing. We're unboxing a Keurig K55. Stay tuned. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Here's my box. I have gotten into it a little bit um, just to see what was on the top or how it was packaged. And then I had to run out today and go do something. But now that I'm back, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, take it out of the package together. And um, this machine is the K55 from Keurig. It is an upgrade and a more um, feature-rich uh, convenient rich machine compared to the K50, the K50, K50. So this is definitely um, an improvement from the K50. And I want to tell you that they're going to be having, QVC is going to be having um, Keurig shows this March, this month. You guys might want to tune in and see. I'm going to tune in and see if I got the best option for myself or not. But um, definitely you guys, I will have this schedule listed below so you guys can take a look at the Keurig special coming up on QVC the 13th and 14th of March. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this box. First off, I want to tell you guys I got this for under $77 and it came with everything that you're going to see in this box everything okay so let me give you a look inside of the box this is it right here and this is everything that came inside of it so we've got the coffee filters for the water the water filters this is a year's worth of coffee filters for the water so it helps keep the machine from um, cleans out that hard water and the water flavor Okay, and gives you nice filtered water. Yay! Then we've got the K-Cup, you guys. A K-Cup. It's a reusable K-Cup. Awesome. Uh, we've got some Lipton Tea. How many do we got? Three packs of Lipton Tea K-Cups. We've got some Green Mountain Dark Magic. We've got some Green Mountain Breakfast Blend. And we've got, of course, you guys can notice this just from the box right off. We've got some Donut Shop Regular. And this is a favorite of almost everybody out there. This is a 12 pack of K Cups. This is a 12 pack of K Cups. This is a 12 pack of K Cups. And this is a 3 pack of K Cups for Lipton Ice Tea. So I've got 36 cups of coffee. I've got um, three cups of Lipton iced tea to try, and it looks like I've got one more thing in here, which is four cups of a variety blend as well. So all of that right there. So that's 36, 37, 38, 39, um, 43 cups of coffee, a reusable My K Cup coffee filter, and I got a year's worth of filters for the water you guys oh and it also comes with the wand that holds these which will be in the machine so let me go ahead and unbox it and get it out of here and we'll take a look okay so here's the box and this is the machine so this is how it comes Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like we've got the user manual right here. Discover Keurig, nice little user manual. Uh, some crate protection box on top. Oh, and here is um, some other, two other filters. So we got four, five, six of the filters all together, which equals about a year's worth. And the holder right here. And you can fix the date and everything on there so you know what you're doing. And here's the machine. They package it really well. And all the information and everything is like easy to find right on top. That's awesome. Okay, so Discover Keurig. This is, has coupons and things like that on the back. It probably tells you more about their products. And then this one is Keurig Hot Use and Care Guide, okay? So this will give you like instructions on how to use it. There is tape on everything so nothing falls out as you're taking it out of the box so it doesn't fall apart. So let's go ahead and remove all that tape. has a removable drip tray. Which also comes apart for cleaning and it has a star on the drip tray, you guys. Can you see that? Pretty cool. And there's the drip tray. Is this piece removable? I don't think so. And it sets right back on there. Boom. So it's nestled smooth and flush with the drip tray. And then it just fits right on top of the base here. And you're ready for your cups. Just like that. It has a removable reservoir for your water, which is right here. It just lifts right off. And it has these two brackets and this form-fitting bottom down here that fit right down here. And there's two spots for those brackets. And boom, so it stays on there nice and secure. The lid for the water reservoir is removable, which is great. And the reservoir itself is a 48 ounce 48 ounce reservoir, so it will hold 48 ounces of water. That's terrific. So you can brew several cups of coffee before refilling. Easy to remove and easy to replace. Here is the handle. You just pull up and the machine lifts up and the K cup holder lifts out for you for easy um, filling and then you just press down to close. It uses all popular sizes of K-cups, 6, 8, and 10 ounce K-cups. The Keurig K55 comes in a multiple choice of colors. It is energy efficient and and it brews coffee in under a minute. Every study that I've read 
with people doing reviews on these, shows that the coffee brews in under a minute every time. It also comes with these water filters for better tasting coffee and to extend the life of your machine. Let's go ahead and set up and demo how to brew coffee with the Keurig coffee brewing machine. Let's take these coffee filters and I'll give you a good look at them. They're a really nice size, so you know they come with a lot of filtration on the inside of there. The actual filter itself is nice and sturdy, so you won't be worrying about it breaking or anything when you're trying to use it. Plus, it comes with the handle, um, and I'll show you what you want to do. First, you want to get some nice distilled water or purified water and pour some into a cup. Then you're going to put your filter in the cup and let that soak for about 10 minutes or so while you're cleaning the machine and getting the machine ready for its first use. The filter will work a lot better the first time around if it's already soaked completely in water. So you want to leave it in there for a good 10 minutes. Make sure the um, filters on the inside th themselves have been soaking for a while. Okay, so just put it in there and let it soak. Now, we're going to go ahead and clean this machine and get the plastic, that brand new plastic taste, all out of there. On the bottom of the cup holder here, the pod holder, right in the center of the bottom, place your fingers, okay, and then steady your thumbs at the top of it right here, and then just press up with your fingers at the bottom, and it should pop right out. That's the K-cup holder. And it's a nice little holder. It looks just like the reusable cup almost. And inside there's a little needle. So you're really not going to mess with that. You're just going to rinse it with water. It does come apart, so take it apart so you can make sure and rinse it thoroughly. Uh, pretty easy to take apart. Don't be scrubbing it with anything or any scrapers. You just rinse it with water. Get some nice warm water around all the way through. Avoid the needle on the inside here. I'm trying to show it to you. Let me just twist it around so you get a view. There it is. So that little needle pops the bottom of your K-cups and um, the lid pops the top. So you don't want to be puncturing that needle. And once you're done and it's dry, go ahead and pop it back together and then it just fits right back in that ring. Before you put it back together though, go ahead and um, with a wet damp cloth, rinse out that the container, the K-cup container holder itself too. Now I'm showing you here the arrow there goes up. Alrighty, so go ahead and put that up and then put your thumbs on the side where I'm showing you and then just press back down until it pops into place. And now it's completely cleaned out and ready for use. Here's the filter. I've got the date set so that um, I know that I've put that filter in in March, but if it's April or whatever month you're doing it, that's when, what number you would set it to. It goes from January to December by number. So set your month and then um, it opens up really easy. And it has a nice mesh screen at the bottom, which helps with added filtration. Set it um, on the table to steady it. And then get your filter that's been soaking in water and go ahead and just place it on the bottom. And the top piece just fits right over and it should snap into place. Just align the little um, gadgets on the side and there you go, snap it into place. It's ready to be placed into the reservoir. Okay, here again, you want to go ahead and clean out the reservoir. It is plastic, it will have a new plastic taste. Rinse it out with hot water really, really, really well. Um, you can even wipe it down a little bit to help get that plastic smell out of there. And then you should be good. There on the side is a little floating disc. That helps the machine know how much water you have in the reservoir. The actual circle piece over here I'm pointing at is where your filter goes. That stick handle filter with the date on it. So I'm showing you that right there. I go ahead and place it on there with the month facing out so I can just look right on the side and see what month is my filter. 
and it's easier to place on there if you align the circle with the circle then stand it on the table and press down it snaps right into place you'll be all set here's the maximum water fill line you can see it through the other side the camera doesn't pick it up very well but it's pretty easy to do don't exceed the maximum fill line now I'm showing you here it will take three 16.9 ounce bottles of Aquafina or filter uh, water, distilled water or drinking water or purified water. I'm using the Aquafina. It's a great tasting water, so that's what I like to make my coffee with regularly. That's what I'm using in the machine. Um, there's bottle number two and bottle number three. Doesn't quite use a full three bottles, but almost. I'll show you here. See, it uses just about three bottles. And then go ahead and put the lid on it. You do not have to fill it, um, take it out of the machine to fill it. You can actually leave the reservoir in there. But if you take it out like me, you're gonna have to line up those little brackets and the bottom, you know, while it's filled with water. And just make sure and be gentle with it. Align everything. And then it just slides into place super easy. Here we go. Okay, now the first time I used it, I did run a full tank through the machine um, just to make sure that the plastic smell and the taste was out of the inner side of the machine. You'll probably want to do the same thing and then set it up again for use to begin your first um, real cup of coffee. Okay, I'm just showing you the bottom really quick how it's nice and it takes a part for cleaning it is um, a flat surface there's no ridges no bumps you don't have to worry about spilling your cup or bumping it and then it just fits right on the bottom here right right up against the back and it almost locks into place it's really great okay so here's one of the k-cups this is an average k-cup you guys um, have seen these all over the place. The machine uses all the average sizes the most popular sizes and here is the reusable k-cup that you can use as well let me open it for you the reusable is shaped just like that inner cartridge that I took out with the needle when you open the lid see it has the bottom piece and everything when you just like that again remove it remove this center piece if you're going to use the reusable k-cup okay you don't want that needle base and that original base, K-cut base in there. You're going to be using this in place. Then the mesh basket is shaped like the K-cups, so the K-pods. And that's what you fill with coffee. Then you put it back into the reusable cup, put the lid on it. Once it's filled with coffee, once it's got the granules in there, keep it straight up. It does have a hole on the top there, and coffee can pour out if you tilt it. So if you don't want coffee granules all over, just keep it standing straight up or place it in there right away. Make sure it's aligned and then close it and you're ready for brewing. But we're not going to be using that today. We're going to go ahead and brew a K-Pod and get us a nice, um, excellent flavored cup of coffee. So again, I'm showing you it has edges on the side and an arrow for alignment. Use those little edges to pop it down for your thumbs. And now we're ready. So I've got here a 6, 8, and 10 ounce cup. You can even use your big tumblers. Most of them, the average sizes of them, will fit right underneath. Here's something really cool. When you go to lift the um, holder, the K-Pod holder, it lifts up and out. So it will not spill your coffee, even in these big mugs. Look at this. Up and out. So it doesn't knock over my cup. That's really intelligent design, I think, because it's going to save me having a spill in the kitchen. That's awesome. You can also use the Keurig Hot Coffee Maker for brewing yourself some hot water when you're cooking. Okay, here's the top of the machine. You can choose six, eight, or ten cups with these buttons. Makes it super easy. Here's the power button. Here's the auto off button. Here is the heating light. Here is the descaling light. 
so you know when you're cleaning it. And here is the add water, so you know when you need to put water in. We're going to go ahead and press power and do a full brew demonstration. Okay, so once you open the K-Pod holder, choose your coffee. We're going to do the Donut Shop regular. It's a delicious coffee, so we're going to use that one. Place it in the K-Pod holder and press it down onto the needle so it punctures the bottom. Then go ahead and close the compartment. The lights will start blinking at you. When they're blinking, that lets you know that you're ready to choose your cup size. We're going to go ahead and choose a larger cup. This is about a 12 ounce cup, but we're going to brew an 8 ounce. It's about a 10 ounce cup, but we're going to brew an 8 ounce coffee. So go ahead and press the coffee button that you want to brew after you've placed your coffee under there securely. You will hear the coffee machine, the Keurig coffee maker, pulling that water into the system, heating it, and cycling it through, getting it ready to brew you a cup of coffee. Once the water's done cycling through and heating up, then as you can see, it, it just brews your coffee right there. It takes less than a minute, you guys, to complete this process, and you have a nice cup of coffee. Super awesome, easy to use. I can't tell you how much I love this machine. I love this machine. This Keurig coffee making machine is awesome. Okay, so since I didn't use a smaller cup, I didn't use an 8 ounce size cup, I used a 10 ounce cup, you can see that the coffee didn't go all the way to the top, but that's exactly what I wanted. So I've got room for my whipped topping or anything else I want to do in there. If I wanted to make it an iced coffee, I've got plenty of room to do something with this coffee now. I'll go ahead and take it out of here and show you that it looks like it's probably about half full in this cup, and that's perfect. There we go, right there on the cup. And see how super hot it is? It is a nice hot cup of coffee. Beautiful, look how rich that coffee is. Okay, so something else you can do. If you don't brew um, a full 10 ounce cup with your K-Pod, you can go ahead and run a six ounce portion through that same K-Pod. Just open the K-Pod holder, close it. When the lights are blinking, go ahead and press the six ounce cup wait for that water to cycle through the machine it's going to brew it normally and then it'll go ahead and portion out for you a six ounce cup of mild coffee now you can actually use this for your second beverage if you'd like to or let me show you what i do with them and again this second brew here only takes under a minute so you can do this in no, no time flat and get all the use out of your K-Pods that you want to with this little tip, you guys. This is a Keurig tip. Take that six ounces that you've just brewed and put it in some ice trays. This will actually make about, how much is it, six, seven ice cubes, I think? Hold on. Yeah, about seven ice cubes you can make with that six ounces that is left in your cup. And now you have coffee ice cubes when you're ready to make your iced coffee so your coffee won't be watered down. Amazing! Just go ahead and put them in a plastic bag and you've got yourself some coffee ice. You could even use them in your smoothies. So definitely use that from your K-Pods. Get the use out of them. I'm going to take and put some sugar in my hot coffee here. I'm going to keep it hot today. We're going to add a large teaspoon. Give that a sloppy stir. <laughs> then I'm going to add a huge scoop of whipped topping. Mm. 
And of course, I'm putting my little Starbucks stirrer. And I bought some straws. And now I've got myself a excellent, wonderful donut shop coffee right at home. It tastes perfect every single time. It's exactly, exactly perfect every time you brew with a Keurig coffee making machine. Okay, guys, we're not done. We're going to brew an iced coffee too, so hold on. Let me get a taste of it. Super delicious. I love it. And you will too. Okay, here's how to brew an iced cup of coffee. I'm taking the Green Mountain Dark Magic, okay, from Keurig. And we're going to put that pod in the pod holder here. Again, push it down onto the needle. <clears throat> Close the K pod holder. Place your cup underneath it. And then your lights are blinking at you because we've opened and closed the K pot holder. Choose your cup size. I'm going to brew a 10 ounce this time, which is the largest the machine allows you to brew at one time. And then it pulls the water through. Go ahead and watch this water on the left hand side, you guys. It's the machine is sucking it in to the system so that it can cycle through and heat up and make you a cup of coffee. So it's giving you fresh water every time. There it goes. And portion it out just for the size that you've selected. There's no waste of water. You can feel free to use um, purified water of your choice because it's not wasting your water. And then after it's heated, it starts your coffee. Look at that. Quick and easy. I'm glad I used this clear cup for this, this one so you guys can see exactly how much coffee I'm getting in a 10 ounce brew. It's a little bit harder to see in a cup that's not clear, so this is nice. And there it goes. Full strength right there, you guys. It's not watered down or anything. It's a nice, strong cup of coffee. Add your sugar. We're going to go ahead and do another large teaspoon. We're going to add some milk. One or two glugs of milk is always good. We're going to use our coffee ice that we made together earlier. And just plop it in there because that's the way I do it. And then we're going to add some nice whip topping. Look at that, you guys. I have a professional, <laughs> perfect strength coffee, iced coffee here at home with my Keurig coffee maker. Keurig hot coffee maker. Also making myself an iced beverage. Look at that. Huge, nice size. That's a grande, I'd say. That's a nice grande. Very nice. Super delicious. Look at how huge that is. And it's not watered down. You can see how rich that coffee is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, if you're looking for more, go ahead and click the image in the center. That'll take you to all my playlists. And you can find me on my social media in the description below.